Hey guys and welcome back. In this lesson I'm going to demonstrate how you can work with fonts and styles. So first of all let's work with fonts and what can you how can you customize a particular font and how can you change the font the size of the font and the default position of the font. So first of all you can see that I have some text over here and the font that I'm using right now is Calibri the body one. So let's customize this font a little bit. So I need to either customize it from here or I can simply click this button right over here which will open up me a dialog box called font. So it has two tabs over here font and advanced. So let's first work with font and over here I'm customizing the font Calibri so it is the font is right now used as a body and the font style is regular I can choose it to be italic bold bold italic or regular so basically this means that if I start to write something on my word document it will start to be written in italic from now on if I choose italic over here and similarly I can also increase the font size from over here the next step is the font color so do you want the font color to be white black or and so on do you want to underline the style you underline the words only you want a border or so on and what effects do you want do you want the strike through strike through means that it will have a line that, that will be striking through the word and you can see the preview of everything you do over here this is just a preview these are not the settings that have been changed the settings will be changed unless uh, until you click ok so you want a strike through you want a double strike through You want a superscript, you want a subscript, you want small caps, all caps, or hidden. So you have all of these options that you can select. Now let's click this button right over here, text effects. Now once I click this button right over here, you have two options over here, the text fill and text outline. So in this text fill, you can either choose you want to fill it with a solid fill, which means you can fill it with a color and the color that I chose I have chosen right now is black you can either choose with no fill or gradient fill and in gradient fill you can set the presets type direction angle gradient stops and so on and in the text outline you can either choose to have a no uh, no line solid line or a gradient line and so on so let's close this and now let's move to advanced over here so now in this advanced tab right over here you see the first one is character spacing so you want the space between these two characters to be 100% 200% 150% and so on depends upon you whatever you want to choose the spacing should be expanded or condensed you can view at the preview right over here so I'll choose I'll go with normal you want kerning for fonts kerning for font is basically for advanced graphic designers and they use this option very much so kerning for fonts you can see the preview that nothing basically happens it's just to adjust the spacing between these letters so moving on with the open type features you can choose the ligatures to be standard only standard and contextual historical and discretionary or all number spacing it can be proportional tabular pretty straightforward number number forms lining or old style stylistic sets or use contextual alternate so it's very straightforward very easy and you can choose it depending upon what you like or how do you want the font to be and then once you're done with all of this you can simply click OK and your 
changes will be made in your document so one more thing that I w want you to tell you guys is that you can see that I have a lot of fonts over here and where are these fonts stored in my PC so let's open up control panel and once I open up control panel over here I need to search for fonts and you see that I have this folder over here fonts let's open up this folder and you notice that all of the fonts present in my word 2016 have been displayed over here they start from the letter A and end up with the letter Z so <clears throat> you can open up this font over here and it shows that how this font looks in your word document you can either print this font and so on so let's find a corrector over here and what does this mean so you first choose a font over here whichever you like right now it's Arial. you find a corrector over here that and this corrector will look like this in this particular font and you want you have if you have characters to copy simply type over here select advanced view and go and paste it in your word 2016 so this is how you can find fonts that have been stored into your personal computer they are in control panel appearance and personalization and fonts so i hope you like this lecture i hope you enjoyed stay tuned stay focused and let's move to our next lesson which is which will be the last lesson of this module 4.